Hey, good evening. Welcome to Math for Kids. Number 99. <clears throat> number 99. Now, we've talked in the, in, on a few of these videos already about the Fibonacci numbers, but you wanted to talk about them again? Yeah, yeah. I like Fibonacci numbers. Okay. Well, so tonight we'll just try talking about <coughs> a, a, some related numbers called the Lucas numbers. So, we're going to do, so the numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Fibonacci, and then the Lucas numbers. Okay, now both of them go by the same pattern that the number a sub n plus 1 equals a sub n plus a sub n minus 1, okay? So in other words, a sub 3 equals a sub 2 plus a sub 1. So we just have to know where we start. Fibonacci numbers start 1, 1. Lucas numbers start 1, 3. Okay? Okay. So what does Fibonacci number 3 equal? Well, Fibonacci 3 equals Fibonacci 2 plus Fibonacci 1. So Fibonacci 3 equals? 2. 2. What does Fibonacci 4 equal? So it, it has to... Well, Fibonacci, Fibonacci 4. Oh, it's, th it's 3. How did you figure that out? 1 plus 2. It's Fibonacci 3 plus Fibonacci 2, so it's 3. Okay, what does Fibonacci number 5 equal? 5. How do you figure that out? 2 plus 3 is 5. Okay, Fibonacci 5 is Fibonacci number 4 plus Fibonacci number 2. 3 win. 4 plus Fibonacci 3. That's right, sorry, Fibonacci 4 plus Fibonacci 3. Sorry about that. Fibonacci number 6 is? Is Fibonacci 5 with Fibonacci 4, which is 8. 8. And then what are, what are the next two? Thir 13. 13 and, and 21. 21. Okay, great. So we've, we've talked about that. Now let's do the Lucas numbers. They follow the same pattern. So I'll say Lucas number 3 equals Lucas number 2 plus Lucas number 1. Okay. So Lucas number 3 is Lucas number 2 plus Lucas number 1, which is? Which is four. Four. Okay. What's this one equal to? It's seven. Seven. And then eleven. Eleven. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. And then twenty-nine. These numbers get big fast. Yeah, they do. Twenty-nine. And then forty-seven. Forty-seven. Awesome. Wow. Okay. Alright, so now you might say, why, I wonder why people study Lucas numbers. Let, let's, let's go to numbers 9 and 10, because I, I think we'll stay on camera. So 13 plus 21 is? 13 plus 21 is 30, 34. 34, and 21 plus 34 is? 21 plus 34, that's going to be 55. 55, very good. And what, how about 29 plus 47? It's 76. Okay, 76. Awesome. 123. 123. Wow. Okay. So Lucas numbers get, even, even though they start kind of similar, instead of 1, 1, they just start 1, 3 now. They get, they get big fast, but that's okay. It's okay to get big fast. The Fibonacci numbers will catch up, and they both keep going on forever. So, so why do people want to study? The Lucas numbers, because shouldn't it just be kind of the same as the Fibonacci numbers? Yeah. I don't know. I don't really know. Let's see if we can find any interesting patterns that relate the Fibonacci numbers and the Lucas numbers. This is what mathematicians do. They sit there and they say, hmm, I wonder if we can find any interesting patterns. So, for example, let's look here. Let's look at Lucas number four. Do you see, other than adding this 3 and 4, do you see any other way to make a 7 out of the numbers you see on the board? Well, 18 minus 11. Okay, 18 minus 11. Good, good point, actually. I, 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 didn't, I didn't think of that. That's part of the original pattern. If this plus this equals 18, that means this minus this equals 7. So that's good. That actually was a good one to see. That shows your understanding the, the pattern a little bit. Do you see any other way to make a 7? 
Out of the Lucas numbers? No, out of, out of either the Fibonacci numbers or the Lucas numbers. Do you see anything that, that would make a 7, say, in the Fibonacci numbers? Well, it's 3. Fibonacci number 3 plus Fibonacci number 5. Okay, 2 plus 5 is 7. Okay, that's interesting. Do you see anything that makes an 11? Well, there's... Let's see. You can do, no, well you can do 4 plus 7, but that's the original pattern. Right, that's the original pattern. What made the 7? The 3 and 4. Well, the 3 and 4 here. Right. But the Fibonacci number is 2 and 5. 2 and 5 made the 7. Do you see anything that makes an 11? 3 and 8. 3 and 8. Okay, well, I wonder if that pattern continues. Well, 5 plus 13 does equal 18. Oh, isn't that interesting? How about, does that pattern seem to continue? Well... Does 8 plus 21 equal 29? Yeah! Huh, how about wow. that? So let's see if we can write that as, a, as an expression, that the Lucas number n... Here, n equals 6. I'll just put that in parentheses so we make sure we get it right. Equals Fibonacci number... What two Fibonacci numbers add up to the Lucas numbers? N minus 1 plus N plus 1. Fibonacci N minus 1, which in this case is 5. So Lucas number 6, which is 18, is Fibonacci number 5, which happens to be 5, plus F sub N minus 1 plus F sub... 7. S, it's, it's the 7. N plus 1. It's the next F Fibonacci plus number. One. 5. So Lucas number 6 equals Fibonacci number 5 plus Fibonacci number 7. Okay, So we just found an interesting pattern. Now we're not sure if it's true or not, but it sure looks like it's true. It seems to be true for every, every single number, so I wonder if there's some way we might be able to understand why that could be true, but that's really neat, right? We didn't expect that, right? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay. <coughs> we'll look for one more fun pattern. We're going to look for a pattern um, on the even Fibonacci numbers. Fibonacci number 2n, okay? So Fibonacci number 8, for example. This would be where n equals 4. Okay, do you see any way to make an 8? I'm <laughs> sorry, any way to make a 21? What, what, what makes 21? What does 21 factor into? It's 3 times 7. Okay, do you see any 3 times 7s anywhere? Huh. Three and seven. Okay. So, ooh, that's interesting. So that was four. That's exactly half of eight. Ooh, that's, that's Okay. Good. Let's see. How about for ten? What two numbers would multiply to make ten? I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> what, two, what two numbers multiply to make fifty-five? Five times eleven. Okay. Well, do we have any fives and elevens hanging around? Oh, exactly at five, which is half of ten. Wow. Okay. Let's check it here. Six. Fibonacci number... Six is equal to eight. Okay? What two numbers multiply to be eight? Two times one. Huh. Isn't that interesting? That is so interesting. So it looks like Fibonacci number 2n, in other words, for Fibonacci number eight, equals Fibonacci number n, 21, Yeah. equals... Fibonacci number 4, sorry, yeah. n equals 4. Fibonacci number 8 equals Fibonacci number 4, which is 3, times Lucas number, also 4, which is 7. So remember we said these numbers, the Lucas numbers got big fast, but they yeah. still end up relating to the, to the Fibonacci. Fibonacci's. Isn't that interesting? So actually, this tells us we can actually figure out what Fibonacci number 12 is right now from this pattern, because Fibonacci number 12 should be Fibonacci number 6 times Lucas number 6, which is 8 times 18. And what is 8 times 18? It's 80 plus 64. Which is? It's 144. It's 144. Yeah, it's 12 squared. Hey, how about that? Okay. And we should also... We should also, we could also know that Fibonacci number 20 is 55 times 123. Which is a really big number. Which is a really big number. 
Okay, so just starting from this simple, simple little thing. And so now we might, we found patterns with the odd numbers, and I wonder if there are patterns with, or sorry, we found patterns with the even ones, two, four, six, eight. I wonder if there are anything with the odd ones. But we'll have to check. We'll, we, maybe we'll play around with that. This is what mathematicians do. They study these patterns and relationships, and you find two, two sequences that start out just a little bit different, have the same rule for how they evolve, and then they, have, they end up having these really neat, interesting patterns. Isn't that, isn't that fun? Yeah. That's really fun. All right. Well, that's a, that's a good little video tonight. It's a good job. I wonder what we'll do for Math for Kids number 100 tomorrow. Mm -hmm.